Hi everyone, so today we'll be talking about how to expand uh, the product the product of two binomial factors using FOIL. Okay, so let's get started with the example. So let's say we're given the two binomial factors of x plus 1 times x plus 2. So we want to expand this and in order to do so we use a technique called FOIL. So F stands for first O stands for outer, I stands for inner, and L stands for last. Okay, so in terms of this expression, what does each, um, each one of these components stand for? So first, is the first term of each factor. So that's the x and the x here. So we have to multiply these two terms. So we have x times x, uh, which is x squared. Outer is the first term in the first factor and the last term in the last factor. So it's like the outer, the outer terms of this product here. So that is x times 2, which is uh, two times two x. Inner is the terms that are inside, so this term here and this term here. So the second term in the first factor and the second uh, the first term in the second factor. So it's like the inside of this product here. Uh, so we have 1 times x, which is just x. And then finally we have last, which are the last terms of each factor. So that's 1 times 2, which is 2. Now we want to add all these terms together. So we have x squared plus 2x plus x plus 2. And then these two terms combine to become 3x. And then uh, the other terms stay the same. So we have x squared plus 3x plus 2. And this is the expanded version of x plus 1 times x plus 2. Okay. Now let's, let's do another example just to sort of, um, just sort of get things going. Okay, so so we have example, and um, let's say we have 2x minus 1 times 3x minus 2. Okay, so let's use the same technique as, as above. So let's start with first. So that's the first term in each of the factors. So that's 2x times 3x, and uh, 2x times 3x is equal to 2 times 3, which is 6, and then x times x, which is x squared. And we'll go into outer. So that's the outer terms here. Uh, 2x times uh, negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 times x. Now we're going to use, get i, the inner. And then inner is negative 1 times 3x. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 times x. And finally, we have last. last. 
and we have negative 1 times negative 2. And then uh, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2 because the, the negatives, uh, the two negatives that are being multiplied uh, become positive. And adding up these terms together, it's 6x squared minus 4x minus 3x plus 2. The four, negative 4x four minus 3x combined to become negative 7x. Uh, because I just added the two coefficients, so negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7 plus 2. And just bring down the other terms. Okay. So let's do one last example. Let's say we have example. Let's say we have 3x minus 4 and then 4x minus 1. Okay, so let's start with the first term. Okay, so that's 3x, and then 4x, so for a second factor. So we get 3x times 4x is equal to 3 times 4, which is 12, times x times x x which is x squared okay let's go to outer uh, which is the outer terms here uh, 3x sorry Oops, sorry about that 3x times negative 1 which is simply negative 1 times 3, which is negative 3, times x, and then inner, which is the inside terms here. So that's negative 4 times 4x. That's equal to negative 4 times 4, uh, which is negative 16, because there's only one negative sign. Uh, times x, and then finally we have L, which is last, uh, which is negative 4 times negative 1, which is equal to positive 4, because the negatives cancel out. And then together, we add up all the terms, so we have 12x squared minus 3x minus 16x, plus 4. And we combine these two terms here. It's so negative 19x plus 4 and then 12x squared. Okay, and this is the expanded form. Now, uh, this concludes this video. Uh, in the next video, I will be continuing with a few more examples and possibly a few tricks on how to go about doing special uh, products, um, how to expand special products of two binomial factors.